I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve a linear trigonometric equation. Question is solve 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0 where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Let's rewrite this question. It is 2 sin x plus 1 equal to 0. To solve trigonometric equation, we have to adopt the same process, which is for normal equation. So we'll isolate sin x. Let's take away 1 from both sides. We get 2 sin x equal to minus 1. Dividing by 2, we get sin x equal to minus half. Now once we get that, we need to figure out how many solutions are there for the given equation in the given domain. Domain is from 0 to 2 pi. We can find this in a couple of ways. One method is to draw the sine wave itself and then figure out. So let us say this is the sine wave. Within 0 to 2 pi we'll have one wave as shown here. And minus half value since this is from 1 to minus 1 minus half will be somewhere here right. So you are expecting two solutions, one in quadrant 3, the other one in quadrant 4. About the quadrants, we can also look at it in this fashion, applying the cost rule. Cos is positive in quadrant 4, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2 and tan in quadrant 3. We are looking for sine to be positive in quadrant, I mean we, we are looking for sine to be negative so that should be in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4 right. Sine is positive in quadrant A, I mean 1 and 2. So we are expecting solution to be in these two quadrants. However, if we use a calculator directly, we will not get the right result. What I am trying to say here is if I use the calculator, for example, this calculator should be in radians. Let's make it in and show that this is in radians. 4 is radians. So, so, so let me just first show you incorrect method. Right? Incorrect method. And we'll talk about the real method, right? So from here, if you quickly write x equals to sine inverse minus half, what you will get is Let's do sine inverse and within bracket we need to write minus half 1 divided by 2. That gives us minus pi by 6. So that gives us minus pi by 6, right? Now minus pi by 6 is kind of going like this. However, the domain is from 0 to 2 pi. Now minus pi by 6 is not in domain. Is that okay? So therefore, this is not the correct solution, right? So let me show this method. It really doesn't work if you go directly using a calculator. So this is not the correct method. The correct method is to find the related acute angle. So we need to find related acute angle. Related acute angle is right there in quadrant 1. So let's call this alpha. So sine alpha should be positive half. So we find like this. So sine alpha is positive half. Since all are positive in quadrant 1, so alpha should be sine inverse of half. Now we can find this answer. That is shift sine inverse of half. Last time we did minus half. This time we are doing plus half, right? Now we get alpha as pi by 6. So pi by 6 is the related acute angle. So this is pi by 6 acute angle. This is also pi by 6. Is it okay? Now when we are writing the two solutions, then x is how much? x can be written as, there are two solutions as you can see. One is that much, which is pi plus pi by 6. So this is pi plus pi by 6. The other one is this one, which is 2 pi minus pi by 6. Do you see that? 
So these are the two solutions. You can always, you know, work this out. So you could write this as 6 pi by 6 plus pi by 6, which is 7 pi by 6. And here you could write this as 6 times 2, 12. So 12 pi by 6 minus pi by 6, which is 11 pi by 6, correct? And so the solutions are, we can write their answer as x equals to 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6, right? Both are in radians. So that is how you actually get the solution. So the idea is first figure out how many solutions are there. Since we are working with a negative value of sign, we also know that these solutions are in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4. So to begin with, find the related acute angle which satisfies the absolute value of the sine x, which is half. Once you find that angle, then write down the principal angles for the two solutions. In this case, they are pi plus the acute angle and 2 pi minus the acute angle. That gives us 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6. Now, these are also the exact solutions. At times, you may be required to write down um, to round to two decimal places. Then you can always write this in fractions using pi as a number 3.14 and get your answer. I hope that helps. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.